For the sign of Leo, hello and welcome to my channel. So, Leo. What I'm picking up for the overall energy for this reading is that there's someone that you could have a lot of attraction for or towards coming up this month in June, maybe towards the end of June. Yeah, or someone could be really attracted to you. Or you could have a lot of people that are interested in you coming up this June. Um, I don't know if you're popular on social media or if you got a lot of pretty pictures out there. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of people interested in you. Or just fighting for your attention or just drawn to you. Or this could be you feeling this way about someone. That's the energy that I'm getting for this reading. Now, let's get started and see what's going on here. For the present time, we got the High Priestess, and it's paired with the Six of Wands. Now, the High Priestess, it's a very spiritual card. It could have some sexual overtones. It can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, and to inspiration. So, this could be a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It's also going to be important for you to pay attention to any dreams that you have coming up in June. If you keep a dream diary, it's going to be a really good idea. The High Priestess is with the Six of Wands, which signals victory. So, if you're anxious about a court proceeding or something like that, or if you're trying to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebrations. You may be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration. Or, you could be receiving some, some type of a reward for good work that you've done. So, this Six of Wands, it makes you feel really good about yourself you may feel as though you have a lot of support from a whole lot of people around you on the other hand you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing so that explains six of wands and it's with the high priestess for the present time so you have to have a lot of victory and success with some situation or it could be a person could be a family member, could be the, your lover or someone that you're dealing with. Um, it's about success and victory, put it that way. Recognition. And um, like I said, if this is someone that you're dealing with, they got a lot of mojo for you. A lot of deep attraction is here. But let's take a look at the rest of the reading so that we can clarify these two cards better. So we'll move on over for now and take a look at how they see you, the person you're dealing with. They see you like a Nine of Cups, which is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in a reading. This Nine of Cups is known as a wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. Now, this card is about happiness, good things to come. It also could usually... It also could mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, this card is the most powerful indicator of yes. So you see them as no, not you see them. I said they're wrong. They see you. Okay, I got that right. They see you as a Nine of Cups. That's what I'm trying to say. They see you as a wish come true, Leos. Yeah, they're very blessed and satisfied with you. They also see you like the Moon card, though. The Moon card is about deception. They feel like you wear a mask. You don't really say how you feel. They can feel like you're secretive. Yeah, because the moon card is about feeling psychic and intuitive. And it's important for you not to um, 
Well, it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions. Even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be, be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. And if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it probably will take longer than you would like for it to. So try to stay patient. So, like I said, they see you... They think that you're deceptive, but you're still a wish come true for them. Yeah, they feel like they probably, they got, maybe they don't think they, it seems like they can't trust you. <laughs> uh, that's what the moon card is about. They, or they, maybe they have, well, they see you as the moon card, which is about deception. Let me just put it out there. I'm trying to clean it up, but the moon card is about deception. But you're, you're still their wish come true. They're still blessed and satisfied to have you. So let's get some clarity on this moon card by looking at the rest of the reading. So now let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as the Queen of Wands, and you also see them as the World card. Now, the Queen of Wands, it can refer to a woman who has a lot of fire energy. Yeah, could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. When it's not referring to an actual, when it's not referring to a person, it stands for getting a lot accomplished. Could be focused on work or career. This is a very positive, uplifting energy. When it does stand for actual person, this person is a really good friend who is 100% on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. And if you're trying to give birth, and the Queen of Wands is showing in your reading, it's one of the more positive signs that there can be. And so this is how you see them very determined about you. They could be egotistical. They're used to getting what they want. Very confident. That's how you see them. You also see them like the World card. It's about completion. You worked hard. And you're almost to the finish, lo finish line in some way. Just don't quit now because you're really close. You're most definitely in need of some rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. Because you're getting closer and closer to who you are at your deepest levels. Now, in terms of work, it's a good chance that you're probably working far too hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's important, if this is the case, to toot your own horn a little. Just to make sure that the powers that be... Don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. So you also see them like the world card. You think they need to close out some chapters in their life. Or maybe a chapter in their life. You, you feel they need to close it out. Some Something that... Um, they need to end a journey that they've been going through in their life. That's how you see them, but you see them very determined. Now I'm picking up because it's with the world card. They could be determined to close out this cycle or this chapter that's in their life, or you can see them being very determined about you. But you know they need to close out something. They need to end a chapter. Now let's take a look at why it's happening. We have the Ten of Cups, and it's with the Justice card. Now, the Ten of Cups is one of the most uplifting cards you can get in a reading. It points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. Um, Ten of Cups, it speaks about happy family life, even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, to include yourself and those that you're concerned about, your parents, Siblings, children, and pets, and much more. So being spiritually fulfilled is a part of the picture here. Now this is a good card to see regardless of any question. So why is happening? Um, you're a dream come true for your person, Leo, or this can feel like a dream come true. Or your person could want the end all be all with you. Marriage, commitment, family, Ten of Cups. 
Now it's with the Justice. Justice card is about the ideal of karma and law of law of um. I was gonna say law of attraction. It's about karma and law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of actions of someone that we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily if you're um, experiencing some type of karma. Now this justice card, it brings clarity, truth. Um, you could think that you have the right to do so. Justice has been served. And why it's happening is because this Ten of Cups. Something's like a dream come true to you or your person. So let's recap this reading so that we can get the complete picture. So we got the High Priestess here and the Six of Wands. It's about victory and success. And there's a lot of attraction here. A lot of attraction. Yeah, and they see you as the person that you're dealing with. They see you as Nine of Cups, a wish come true. A wish come true, but they see you wearing a mask sometimes. Yeah, now you see them very determined about you. Or you could see them as needing to close out a chapter in their life. Maybe they're married and they need to close out that chapter before they come towards you. Or maybe some other chapter in their life that's still open and you know it's a problem for you. And it would be a problem for this connection. So they need to close it out whatever cycle or cycles that they're dealing with that are unhealthy for this connection or it's just unhealthy and why it's happening because ten of pentacles uh, this person they want wow there's so many distractions here it's very loud so I'm getting a little bit put off but it's really hard to do this reading so just bear with me I'm getting distractions so noisy outside but anyway I'm trying to focus here now why it's happening because of ten of pentacles this person that you're dealing with they want the end all be all with you family life ten of cups they want marriage commitment the connection to move to the next level but you feel like you cannot really open up to this person until they close out whatever cycle or chapter that you feel they need to end like I said maybe they're with someone else they need to close out that chapter because it's still open they haven't closed it out yet so that's why I'm picking up that you haven't opened up to this person like you know you could so that's why they feel you wear a mask you can't open up if they're not doing their part you know by close they're not doing their part by um, having other chapters in their life into this connection that's unhealthy for the connection so sometimes you you wear a mask because like I said, they're not doing their job, so you're not doing your job either. Why should you? So until justice has been served with a justice card here, you'll probably continue to wear them, make them feel like you're wearing a mask until they close out the chapter with Sally or Tim, Gina or Carol, whoever else or whatever else they're de dealing with. So you continue to not open up and appear to be deceitful to them because they got some things going on. 
So you're waiting on justice. Justice to be served. Because right now you feel you have the right to be like the moon card. Because they're still having chapters open. That has nothing to do with you and them. So they want victory and success with you. They're deeply attracted to you. They want the end all be all. But you're just waiting on justice to be served. Waiting for them to do the right thing. They're determined about you. I'm feeling that they will, but it's going to take time. So, Leo, that's a reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonates, but as you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. There's also a link below for extended reading. And it will be about how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Leo, thanks for um, putting up with me for this reading. I had a lot of distractions here, so I know I probably sound off, off, off.